Hi, my name is Suyan Nam. I'm a Korean media artist based in Upstate New York. I work with a wide range of digital media from experimental videos and uh, interactive installation to game art. Digital landscape, especially cityscape, has been a crucial element in my artwork. So I contemplate the urban environment and bustling relationship in the space and I embody the transformation of the image that emerges through meditative observation as an artwork. Various forms of technology and digital media play a vital role in this process to create an improbable landscape. And through this process, I develop an effective and cognitive relationship with technology. Computation for art making often becomes meditative and naturally guides me to re-examine my understanding of the self and the world. So the new perspective on understanding and cognition allows me to take another look at the familiar surroundings and discover invisible but imminent dynamics in banal daily environment. Urban Milieu is composed of 1920 layers of landscape in Chicago. And in the co uh, seemingly coherent city, I imagined the underlying disintegration in heterogeneous relationships. And after taking uh, about 2,000 videos uh, of the city of Chicago for two years, I imported all videos to digital imaging tool and uh, cropped uh, each video as one pixel stripe and stack them together to create a composite landscape. Fragmented images in a composite landscape metaphorically represent my emerging transcultural identity that must reserve the conflict between my early life in Korea and my role as a female artist in the US. In urban milieu and metamorphosis, trees are the focal point of the landscape. As a foreigner uh, and an immigrant, um, I identified myself with the trees in the city uh, because it's outstanding uh, natural figures surrounded by artificial objects like buildings and streetlights seem to be invisible to people. Furthermore, uh, while recording videos amid various uh, moving objects like uh, cars, and train, and people, uh, I found myself transfixed like a tree, and a confrontation with the trees allowed me to discover subtle movement in it, um, making all fast moving objects slow down and fade out from my perspective. The process of reconstructing composite uh, images like cropping pixels and realigning images was um, repetitive, uh, algorithmic, and somewhat tedious, but it was also very meditative, allowing me to uh, contemplate the recorded images while thinking back the time I recorded them. Some recorded detailed images were at odds with my recollections and I often mediated the disparity between two different modes of uh, cognition, which are uh, biological and due to memories. Disintegrated memory is a visualization and embodiment of my unstable, imperfect, yet rich uh, memories, which are in a sharp contrast to digital information that we are accustomed to these days. Three cameras uh, in a disintegrated memory are synced with audience's movement um, while capturing real-time videos in the gallery space. And the program software deconstruct and reconstruct the image simultaneously.
Audiences might find a connection with these unknown, unfamiliar images as noticing a fragment of themselves in it. And this interactive uh, video is a representation of a fragmented, intangible, yet familiar uh, images of their memories, uh, which are likely uh, distorted and transformed like the uh, recomposed image in this project. The investigation on the relationship between digital and biological memories led me to explore the cognitive disparity and inseparability uh, between humans and machines through the interactive 3D game project titled The Surrogate Being. I often record memories of one specific area in my hometown where I lived uh, in my childhood and I believed that the nostalgic image in my mind was pretty intense and concrete. However, when I decided to recreate the place in a virtual space, I realized that uh, the vivid image comes from my reminiscence with the various sensory experience, uh, such as uh, mood and smell and temperature, not merely from the visual element. Visual references from online, such as Google Street View, um, was at odd with my memories because the crisp uh, and disinterested digital images provided by interactive maps uh, did not evoke the rich and profound feeling I had for the place. In this way, the immersive virtual 3D environment negotiates and mediates the discrepancy between my affective memories and digital data of the nostalgic place. It also embodies the symbiotic cognitive coevolution of human and machines by weaving the complex and effective uh, mode of awareness with uh, non-conscious information in both my perfect and rich memories and in different digital images. Surrogate being bridges the gap between my mind and digital technology and invite a participant to uh, navigate the mediated landscape. As memories remain indistinct and disintegrated until we recollect, um, the landscape is disrupted and distorted when no participant is engaged. If a participant approaches to fragmented image and stands in front of it, it turns into a navigable landscape. My new project, Inactive Scene, was inspired by Francisco Varela's Inactivism, which claims that our mind continuously interacts with our environment. And accordingly, the world and the mind are inactive through multifarious experiences we continue to have. During my residency at laboratory in Spokane, Washington, I had a chance to experiment and observe how my mind perceived new environment if digital experiences actively engage in the development of memories. As I explored and digitally recreated the city simultaneously in the process, inactive scene intervenes in the cognitive process of building memories and also opens the underlying interaction between mind and the surroundings. A year after the residency, I recently started to revisit the project and elaborate the 3D scene to imbue it with my effective memories of the city of Spokane. In addition to my personal project, I'm currently working on a couple of other collaborative and interdisciplinary projects to continue my artistic exploration at the intersections of culture, philosophy, technology, and science. So I'm looking forward to an opportunity to present my artwork and share experiences with audiences in the same physical space again soon. Thank you and stay safe.